You can have the most beautiful picture in your mind and you can have the best intentions of what you want to do if you don't take the time to bring everyone together, regardless of how you know, good your intentions are or how perfect your vision is or how pure your thoughts are, everybody's going to have feelings about it. And it's going to be very difficult to, to be successful. The inspiration comes from the place. The trees, they need time to grow. So if you cut the tree, you cut time. And this is what I try to save. And time is the only thing that you cannot buy. I want to be able to tell my kids at some point that, hey, look, this is what your dad did, you know, that you can be proud of it. Uh, I did something that was special. How does the community receive it? What do people think? How do your neighbors feel about it? Very often, a developer comes into a community and has his own vision for exactly what that, that community uh, you know, should be about. I found this location about seven years ago when I first showed it to Alex and said, you know, Alex, you really need to, to see this. We've been working on it for more than three years now, and it's gone through various stages. This is a unique situation in that we physically listened to this community in developing this plan. The buildings are an important part of this entire uh, right-of-way project. I think any time that you're working in a historical context, it is extremely important to be respectful. The idea that we keep the scale, the massing, and the character of these buildings that shape and frame what South Beach and North Beach and Mid Beach is known for, which is these beautiful two, three-story Art Deco buildings, keeping that as far as the pedestrian level is incredibly important. You have to understand the history of a place to understand where you want to go. There's a certain richness that comes when you save historic buildings and you intersperse with those historic buildings new architecture. We were extremely interested in the, the shapes that the water creates when it hits the sand, that there is no symmetry and it's always changing. Being able to create in a building that same feeling of movement, we always thought that it was very uh, challenging, but at the same time interesting. This portion of Ocean Terrace, it's very unique. It's uh, not only similar to Ocean Drive, but in a much more quiet manner. We are creating a connection between Collins Avenue and Ocean Terrace in the middle of a block, which is a uh, pedestrian connector. A symbolic gateway, and an actual gateway from the residential neighborhoods to the west, all the way to the east, and they act as kind of these beacons that collect and center Ocean Terrace and then guide people to what is probably and hopefully going to be the center of the Ocean Terrace neighborhood once the project is, is executed and implemented. It's going to have a tremendous impact on North Beach. We believe that we have a great opportunity to set an excellent example for other developments in South Florida with what we as a team are doing here. I think this project today is so far superior to what it was before. I think we found a way to um, to preserve the character, but bring this new life to it. You know, and that's really the fun of the development business, is really the, the bringing all these people together and, and seeing all their creative talents work together and seeing how they merge and the ideas playing off of each other. That's when you really start creating something beautiful.